Hi, Rick the Radio Guy here, helping once again to simplify Cisco IPix. Well, today we're going to talk about how to establish a link between Cisco IPix and the Cisco Call Manager so that you can have your IPix Incident Dispatch Console, or IDC, have a multi-line dialer up to 10 lines. So let's quickly take a look through this. This uh, is really pretty simple. Now, I've already got the trunk line uh, established into the uh, call manager, so I've got my IPI dialing working uh, in the IPix dialing engine, and I'm strictly going to be adding in the users here. So let's take a look here at my user, Paul, for instance, and we'll pop his screen open. And what we're going to do is we're going to open Paul's communications tab. We're going to assign him a phone number uh, and a username and a password to associate to the call manager. So Paul's number is going to be 1024 and username is going to be Paul because we're really creative here. And I'm going to make the uh, username and password here Paul also. Maximum current calls will take it up to 10 and now let's hit save. And once those are chain, once those saves uh, take place, I can come over here to my call manager tab, where I've got my users up, and I can see I've got Rick and Dano and Eric. And let's add Paul here. Now we're going to revisit this screen a couple times because we have some dependencies on the device and the user, and some things that don't get. Uh, added until you actually associate things. So we're going to call this user Paul and we're going to make his password Paul and the confirmed password is going to be Paul and this is going to allow this uh, user to link up with the user in IPix and authenticate and it wants a uh, name for the user and the rest of the stuff we're going to have to come back here a little bit later for, like for instance primary extension, after we actually build that on the phone side of the, the system. So we've saved that, we now have a user called Paul. Let's go over here to the devices, we'll go to the phone screen, I'll find all my phones, and I'm going to add a new device. We're going to add a new SIP device of the third-party advanced type here. So third-party advanced SIP device. I'm going to say next. I'm all ready to go here. I need a MAC address and because these are assigned dynamically by the IDC I just need to look at what's in the um, call manager and make sure I don't duplicate that. So I know I have a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, so let's do a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. Okay, and I'm going to call this instead of SEP, all those zeros and 2, I'm going to call this Paul's IDC dialer. Okay. Now I do need to come down here and say put it in the default device pool. We're going to use the standard third-party SIP advanced devices, common SIP phone profile, anything with an asterisk we need to put in. Uh, now down here where it says device uh, owner user ID, we're going to select Paul because we made him earlier. Okay, so now we've got Paul selected as the device owner. And then we can scroll down the rest of the list here, and some of these things we're going to get extra options for later. Okay, device security profile is going to be third-party SIP advanced. The SIP profile is going to be the standard SIP profile. And this is the one everybody forgets, the digest user. Now, we didn't build digest credentials because we don't need them, but the digest user is going to be Paul. If you don't click that, this will never register. So now we're going to click Save. And it's going to tell us we have to apply config to make sure those changes take a place. I'll go back to the top of the screen here. 
and it's building my new my new device, my new phone. Let's take a look down here at one other thing that I might have forgotten. Oh, right, we're going to do it over here on the next screen anyway. So now that I have this phone built, I can come over here and say, let's add a new DN, the dial number or directory number, which is going to be 1024 for Paul. I could put in descriptive information here. Um, so I could call this Paul's IDC. And then when somebody calls or he calls somebody, they'll see that number come up. And there we go. We'll leave out all the voicemail stuff, the music on hold. You can tune this to your system's desires. This is pretty much a pretty simple demo system. Uh, we're going to come down to the bottom here and we're going to hit save once again. Now once we save this, we now have a device associated to Paul. And what we can do now is we're going to get an extra option or two that we didn't have before. So we're going to come down here to the bottom of the list once again. And we're going to say we're going to associate end users now that we have that button that we didn't have before. And we're going to select and associate Paul. And we're going to add him. And now Paul's been added. Now from this very self-same screen here, Let's go take a look at Paul as an end user. Uh, actually, let's save really quickly. Remember, we're going to have to apply the config to make sure it works. But if I come over here and I say click on Paul now, we've got one or two more things to do here. Now, this section up here where it's got the IDs and phone numbers and things like that, that's more directory information. But as we come down through the extension mobility, we do have this option here now, directory number associations. And since we made a directory number of 1024, we're going to save that. And I can come all the way down to the bottom. These are all basically going to be left blank. I hit save. And just so you see, I've got here, um, We've got one more thing to do. I need to associate this device here with Paul. And we remember that was the 0002 device. I click the checkbox. I save selected changes. And that's it. I can go back here now to device, phone, and Paul's IDC dialer is here. Now he's not registered yet because I haven't logged into the IDC as Paul. Um, but basically, we have now gone and done all that we need to do. We've got Paul here as the owner. We made his user ID. We've got him as the owner. Very important. We've got him as the digest user down here. Okay. And then we're going to come back over here uh, and very quickly look and make sure on our 1024 line that we see Paul's username down at the bottom, which we will, because we saw it there before. And that'll let us know that everything's, everything's great and working. So I see the associated device that Paul has now with the, the console ID that we made. We can scroll down here, down the rest of the, the page. Ah, one more thing we might want to change. We might want to change the maximum number of calls that Paul can have from 2 to 10 down here. And we'll say we'll busy trigger on 10, on 2, pardon me. And I'm going to save. And I'm going to apply the config. That's going to tell me that I'll drop any calls in process. Now the config has been applied. I can go back to, vi to device. I can go to phone. And I'm basically done at this point. And that's it. That's all it takes. 
the minute I bring up the dialer, we'll see his phone number come up and we'll see Paul's uh, extensions come up. And just, I can very quickly show you that here. We'll go over and look at mine because I did the same exact process for my IDC. And I'll flip and bring up the IDC. We see over here Rick 1023. And I can dial uh, 1004. That's got a phone on it that we should hear ringing. I'll hit call. I don't know if you can hear the are you there over there. But uh, that's it. And end. And that's it. That's all there is to installing the IDC dialer in Cisco IPix with uh, call manager. I'm using 9.1, but the concepts are pretty much the same. Not that mysterious, is it? Hey, have a great day. Once again, it's been Rick the Radio Guy demystifying and simplifying Cisco IPix.